Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is beat that like button like it owes you money before watching this so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection Part 2. Whether you're getting camel toe in Cambodia, banging babes and burkas in Turkey, or taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand, Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. His new three booklet series includes how to live on $500 a month in Cambodia, Turkey, and Vietnam, in addition to his classic, How to Retire on 200 k in Southeast Asia. He also has the MGTOW book. Visit MGTOWbooks.com and use the promo code SANDMAN to get 10% off. Now available in four formats, PDF, Mobi for Kindle, EPUB, and text-to-speech MP3. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, here's the difference between women in public when they're strong and women in court when they're oppressed and want more than 50% of a man's net worth. Everyone with a brain doesn't like this woman, period. Of course, this is the way things are. Divorce is big business and soy society encourages it. She looks like she really pooped the bed at the trial, but there are still simps out there saying that they can fix her. Op next, Michelle says that wokeness is dying and that we might actually miss it, but no, we won't. And I'll believe it when I see it because it still looks kind of strong to me. Besides, the only part of wokeness that I would miss would be the part where I'm laughing at it. I didn't miss political correctness in the 1990s when it died. And I won't miss wokeness when it's gone too. But let's not kid ourselves. The Goldbergs will never let wokeness completely go away. Number three looks like Trump had to cancel his appearance on the Talk To podcast because of an assassination attempt. So breaking news, it looks like Trump has dodged a third bullet, with this one being aimed at his wiener. I still can't believe her 15 minutes of fame isn't over yet. It's a good thing Trump didn't go on her show because I watched a bit of it on YouTube and it's awful, and not very entertaining. Moving on, we have a wonderful human being and she was taking lavish Disney vacations meant for homeless students. I thought this was an old story from a few years ago, but it's recent. She will probably claim that it's just reparations and sheet. She pretended to care about my homeless people, but in the end, it was all about her gibbs. Color me shocked. Number five, this woman hasn't had sex with her husband in 15 years, and they were married for 20. She complains that he got bored of work and quit his job, so now they have no savings. Well, maybe he'd still be working if you gave him some cooch as an incentive lady. Look at that timeline. No sex for 15 years, but he's only been a loser for seven or eight. He still had hope and she didn't diddle his schwing schwang, so it's probably her fault. Op next is a woman that says she's still worthy with her stretch marks. But what exactly is she worthy of? Diabetes feet or maybe a coronary. Dating her would be like dating a warm beach ball. But maybe that's a bad analogy because no guy ever had to fear a beach ball rolling over him and crushing him while he slept. For me, the only thing she's worthy of is inducing an involuntary vomiting response. What sane man would actually take a tattooed woman three times the size? Number seven is Jessica, and she's a single mother looking for someone serious now that God is the center of her life. Well, at least she's not false advertising except for the part about being religious, which I don't think any of us really believe. Also, at least the child is not a half again. Many of them seem to find God once their riding days are behind them, and so are their options. She wants commitment, but will probably still pick only the Chads and Tyrones that'll pump and dump. Moving on, young people can be intimidated by social media messages that use periods, since they supposedly signal anger. Looks like Gen Z and Alpha can't handle punctuality. Go figure. But when have periods never signaled anger? And women, that is. From now on, I'm going to use three periods after every sentence. Triple the anger. Number nine is Killary Hilton asking the question, what do you mean they captured him alive? Notice how there's no period at the end of that sentence so it doesn't piss off any of Gen Alpha. But I don't think I will never not laugh at Hillary looking utterly bewildered by being in the inside of an average American home. She looks so out of place as like this was photoshopped or something. Up next, is it true that if you're a guy over 30, your only options are being a stepdad, single forever, dating fat girls, or now being with an Asian woman? I'm comfortable just being single forever, and I used to actually like fat girls. I dated a couple of Filipinas, and they were all right if you like your woman with a room temperature IQ. And are five feet tall with disproportionate hobbit feet. Chinese and Japanese women also have less expressive faces than a love doll. Number 11, Adam Goldberg calls out friends for its unrealistic lack of diversity. 
Yes, by today's standards, but not back in the 90s in New York City. Why doesn't he spend more time addressing that Jim Carrey was the only white guy on Living Color? Today, most government offices look like a living color from the 90s with all their DEI hires. Also, white women watch Friends and black women watch Moesha. Was there enough diversity in Moesha? Moving on, is it true that the ideal woman is a mid that's okay at cooking and not a bitch? Most women don't understand that men are real simple. They just need to be nice to us. But many women will still fail at such an easy task. This is also forgetting the fact that she also has to have a low to no body count. Also, where is always being in the mood on that list? As for my version of the ideal woman, here I fixed it. Number 13, a Harvard medical student ate over 700 eggs in a month, and his cholesterol levels actually dropped. I guess you shouldn't trust the science when it comes to cholesterol. I eat over 100 eggs a month from the Amish farm over the last 7 years, and my cholesterol is just fine. The reason food companies don't want you eating eggs and meat is because they make more money selling you processed foods where the profit margins are much larger. Up next, here's what it's like when girls approach guys at the gym these days. They dress like this and say, it's super creepy when guys check them out. She's there to focus on her workout and not male attention. The gym is the new nightclub or bar. It's one of the last places you can meet people in real life, and women are wrecking it trying to hook up with Chads and Tyrones when they go there. Male-only gyms only solve this, but women ban them, so that's why many guys work out at home now. Number 15, someone left this polite notice for a neighbor that parks his car outside their house for days on end and asks if he could actually park it a few spaces over even though they could legally park wherever they want. If I had a dog and someone put a notice like this, I would train my dog to poop on their yard and then I'd of course pick up the excrement. Then the neighbor would complain about why my dog is to constantly poop on their lawn and that it has the every right to do so but please ask it to poop someplace else. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Moving on, here are the stats as to where men sit to pee. I can understand the anal retentiveness of Germans and their obsession with cleanliness. But why in Australia is it 25%? What the cuck is going on in that country? If a woman ever demands that I sit while doing my business, I throw her out or leave immediately. No man should give in to a woman's demands because they're never ending and she loses respect for you when you do. Still no explanation for Australia though. Number 17, Gavin Newsom has had the highest poverty rates, gas taxes, and state income taxes in America, as well as record homelessness. And yet the people in California keep voting for him. Unbelievable. Not all that unbelievable that women will vote for a nice tall white man that's well-spoken and somewhat attractive. If you think this is impressive, then you'll be excited if he becomes president one day. He also needs to get a haircut. Up next, Delta Airlines issues a new memo that flight attendant applicants need to wear underwear now. I guess those pilots make them wet. But Delta should go easy on them because after all they serve the cockpits too. Now I know why airplanes always have that funny smell to them. I wonder though if this also includes the males. Because if so, I may need to find a new airline. Grown adults need to be told to dress themselves. Absolutely pathetic. Number 19, this taken gal seeks beta buck simp for foodie dates and as an emotional tampon. Gee, where can I sign up for this? She probably also expects the guy to move her furniture. Her partner is already a beta bucks and she's probably looking for another one so she can increase her quality of life. Moving on, a woman was graped in Pakistan and the rapist was let off after allowing his own sister to be graped by the victim's brother. 40 people watched as the innocent woman had her cooch creamed up publicly because of Sharia law. Yes, we need to import millions of South Asians like this immediately to culturally enrich our countries too. How come feminists don't fight against this sort of grape culture instead of welcoming it into their countries? Number 21, hey guys, do you find old man ass attractive? Because if you do, then this will excite you. You could iron your shirt on that skirt or shorts. She's not my first choice in general, but I'd rather be with her than a fat chick. Women and men for that matter need to understand that the squad rack is your friend if you want to get some of your curves back. Up next, this woman is arrested for calling her boyfriend 77,000 times in a week. Talk about a psycho alpha widow. You'd think this is impossible, but not only did she call him that many times, but she also sent him 1,937 emails and 41,000 text messages. Looks like she's probably found an AI workflow to increase her productivity to do so. She's only crying in this picture because she can't keep sending him more messages. Number 23, Georgia, the country is moving forward to outlaw pride events and trans people. 
That's good that someone finally has the balls to stand up to men that don't have any. Unfortunately, that's only going to give alphabet people a greater victim mindset in that country because they can't recruit others into their lifestyle. That's what pride parades are, a month-long marketing campaign for sexual debauchery. Moving on, women always take their fertility for granted until their fertility window collapses. Then they become fat, childless feminists, teaching your children to also not have any children. Women need to freeze their eggs and embryos and hire a surrogate to carry them. Maybe Taylor Griff needs to take notes. When women are ready to settle down, that's when you need to be ready to avoid them. Number 25 and the last one looks like the Olsen twins got old real fast. I really wish this picture was real, but unfortunately, here's the real one. But there is one really creepy thing about them. They appear to be looking like they're aging into gelflings from the Dark Crystal film. The craziest part is that they're billionaires as they transition from child stars in kid films into fashion moguls. Unfortunately for them, their older sister is better looking. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making it, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day and cheers.